different brokers carry different combinations and different pairs and the software program the the currency strength meter will be able to pick up what pairs it can use and then display them now um, I use MIG that seems to have uh, gold and silver on it seems pretty good it'll only pick up currency uh, pairs by the way and here's what you have to do once you get it running once you get your MT whether it's MIG or any of the other platforms for for MetaTrader 4 it should work in all of them and uh, once you get that running you have to go into tools and then go down to options and you see here uh, enable DDE server this is on the first tab the the server tab enable DDE server and that's really all you have to do you press the OK and then you launch the trade time strength meter and once you launch that it um, and you have your um, your MetaTrader platform going what happens it immediately it's just a basic visual basic program and it goes in and it looks for the DDE feed and it finds it and picks it up and then puts in whatever pairs it can find in this case like because I'm using MIG um, I've got gold and silver I can take each of these and let's let's go down to one and then uh, so I don't confuse the issue we'll take it right down to the US okay what happens it's the same as the uh, spreadsheet currency meter except in the spreadsheet currency meter it goes tick by tick and you just see the level and the strengths of currencies you have to watch it for uh, a little while and get the rhythm and the drift of it this keeps a, a track of it and you can adjust how many seconds makes a chart you know I can go down I can go two seconds if I want every two seconds I want this thing to take a picture tell me what the strength is now I can go refresh and then I start from the beginning when I press the refresh I start right from the beginning and now every two seconds it's going to take a little picture you'll see in it blink and uh, I can make it 22 seconds if I want. I think um, as long as you keep it small, I try to keep it under 30 seconds. And it all depends on the day and the time period. And it can show 180 minutes, the last 180 minutes. Or say if we want it to show the last 18 minutes, um, you can click it. And then, you know, it hasn't gone 18 minutes, of course, so we don't have that time. And I can compare it. So in this example, watch this. I click the U.S. and I see just the U.S. dollar. That's all I'm seeing, um, the strength of it. And I can click the Canadian dollar. So if I'm looking or anticipating a trade on the Canadian the USD, I can watch. And you see here it's crossed. And this is where the strength on the Canadian dollar, which is the green one, you can see that from the legend on the side here where it's crossed it shows the Canadian dollar is just starting to get a little bit stronger at the same time the US dollar getting a little bit weaker just on those uh, 22, 22 seconds uh, snapshot okay now say I want to take the Canadian I want to take the euro now meantime um, this saves all the ticks up for you it saves it in a, in a data file so I can go back I don't have to watch each one and keep the record of it I can just uh, uh, click on it and see the record it's whether it's being displayed or not it's being uh, recorded so there's the euro in the US and as you can see the strength there's not much difference in strength but if you look here at the side and you see a seven you know and there's a five that's kind of orange seven is in the red again and the red means really strong if I was to take the red C7 in Australia and interestingly enough Australia is a commodity currency so as gold starts to gather in strength so does um, the Australian dollar and here we see they're side by side but if we were to take one and compare it and well I'll turn off the uh, the gold and let's see what's the lowest right now two two forty three I compared to Japan which is a dark line here it's a grayish line and you see the difference, the spread between the two is, is quite considerable. Now, if I was to take even um, Great Britain and compare it to the Australian dollar, which is very strong, you see in Great Britain is weak, it's 2.67. And you can keep an eye on it, and I can time it and watch that over uh, whatever period that my trading system wants me to.